tell me a little bit about your family. Um, your mom, I think you said that she was kind of like a borderline nudist, right? Yeah, growing up? yeah her and my grandma. Um, so I come from a very like internationally diverse family. Mm-hmm. My mom is French. My dad is Brazilian. My grandma from my mom's side is Swiss. Um, on my dad's side, it's um, there is Italian and Argentinian. So I have family like all over the place. Um, but I had really open parents. Um, I had like the sex talk at a very early age. My mom gave me the talk at like 10, which is arguably like very early for most children, I guess. But did you you feel like it was early for you? No, I mean, for me, it made sense, especially Mm -hmm. like I grew up in Miami. And um, when she saw like my older brother go to like middle school like the middle school he was at was like pretty crazy and there was like already kids like having threesomes in the bathrooms and like just crazy shit and you know my mom was like you know she 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 was not stupid or anything not Mm -hmm. that like I was already doing stuff at that age but she saw like that you were being exposed to things that maybe needed context yeah and she was like you are not getting pregnant under <laughs> this ha- household. She literally told me, she was like, if you get pregnant, I'm snatching that shit out of you myself. <laughs> so yeah, that's definitely the kind of parents I had. But yeah, my mom was really open about like nudity and sexuality. And we just always had a very open dialogue at home. Um, I remember like coming out to her when I was like, 13 I think about being bi and she's like oh sweetie I know I've seen her search history (laughs) um so yeah I feel really fortunate to like have parents who are really open like that do you think that having parents like that and having um that kind of education from a young age actually helped you make like better decisions when you were older and got into the adult industry you know because we hear about some people who come in and they're so naive to sex and Mm -hmm. all of that because they were raised in such a strict household and weren't told anything. So they come into this industry and they're just like so clueless. And then unfortunately, like they have, they learn, you know, while they're working, which is not necessarily the best place to learn about sex. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I think coming into this industry, like I had already been very like sexual since high school. Um, And, you know, my mom was, she was like the mom and mean girl. She was like, I'd rather you do it at home. Mm -hmm. And she's like, here, like I'll buy you a box of condoms. But like, I'd rather know that you're safe. And if you have any questions. And she actually explained to me that porn is, because when she realized I was also watching Mm -hmm. pretty like crazy porn at a young age, she explained to me, she's like, porn is a fantasy. This is make believe. This is not what making love is. And, you know, while porn is is great. It's not a accurate representation of, you know, what usually happens between like a man and a woman or a woman and a woman or a man and a man. So wow. yeah, that's really like, that's really profound. I mean, I mean, you don't, <laughs> you almost never hear that Yeah, coming from people's parents. So yeah. when they, when you told her that you were doing porn, what was the reaction? Yeah, she was one of the first persons I told. Um, I told her after I came out to L.A., I shot for two weeks. And one of my last shoot, shoots, it was for Barely Legal Magazine mm-hmm. with Dave Naz. And it was, like, the first, like, real, like, photo shoot I had been on. And um, and at the end, at the end of the day, I called her and I was like, yeah, so uh, – I, I shot some, like, photos with a photographer, and she's like, okay, what kind of photos? And I'm like, you know, it was, like, nude ones, but they were, like, very classy. And- <laughs> <laughs> Barely legal. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Hustler. <laughs> Love you guys. Well, but- they, they were pretty cute, honestly. Like, it was compared yeah. to, like, some of the other scenes I had been shooting. Like, you know, the scenes, with the, with the, the photos headgear. I was doing on set. Yeah, it was, like, I felt like, oh, like, it was, like, a proper photo shoot and and Dave Naz is a good photographer yeah and I like yeah. I looked at his work and I, I really liked it so yeah I um I told her about it and I didn't quite tell her I was like doing like porn mm-hmm. but yeah eventually I told her about it and she was super open like she always knew that I had a really like good head on my shoulders and that I knew what I was doing and that 
I was safe and mm-hmm. yeah, she was not very worried. My grandma actually was my biggest cheerleader. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which... I sent her like all, not all of my photos, but I sent her like when I got penthouse and like, I'll send her all my like really like classy photos yeah. and yeah. That's so great. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. They love it. <laughs> That's really cool. And I assume that they are probably pretty proud of how far you've gotten in the industry today. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered. And while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.